Hi everyone, welcome to Garden Tour Episode 4. Today I've got my glasses on. I think it's going to help keep the uh, hair out of my eyes because it's a little windy today. But we're going to start again like we usually do over here at the plums. Take a look. They're growing nice. And I think I'm going to have to thin them out a little bit. I hate thinning them out. I know you're supposed to. Um, and you need to to have really good fruit. But I feel so bad when I take some of those off. But what can you do? So here is the lonely tomato plant. It looks pretty crazy, kind of growing out. I don't know if you can see here, I did try to tie it up. Uh, it sort of worked, not really, but I'm going to try and stake that up a little bit better. Um, but I'm super excited to show you the crick neck squash. So here are the Kirknecks, and I want to show you. We've got this going on down here. Look at that. The last time we spoke, we had just the one. Now we have another. There's a couple more blossoms. It's super exciting. This one over here has some tiny ones coming up down around there super cool and believe it or not I did not know that the crooknecks grew this way I, for some reason I thought in my head that they were going to grow like zucchini and kind of sprawl out and so I'm so glad they don't because we wouldn't have had enough room I planted them too close together but here's some more and here's the biggest plant um, but it didn't it wasn't the first to blossom isn't that interesting so we've got a lot of good stuff happening down there. These ones, which we thought maybe might not survive, look at them. They are doing amazing. And they all have blossoms coming up eventually too. Because you can see them down close in the middle. Take a look at that. So it's all going to happen soon. Uh, right next to this, here are the okra. and. Today I want to show you, look, some tiny little okra. I don't believe that was here last week. Um, but if it was, you get to see them again. Isn't that super cool? So we've got tiny little okra growing. And I do want to let you know too that I have been late in posting, so you're probably going to get know that all these videos that I take are taken about a week apart. Seeing the bees hard at work in the garden. This is an onion blossom. And this bee is just having a great time. Isn't that awesome? Going to town. I feel like I could watch this forever. So here are the cucumber plants. We just have three of them. And it's not so easy for us to get to the store these days. Um, and we probably shouldn't go out. So we're trying to figure out what to do to trellis this, or I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. But I would love to trellis this and have it off the ground. But check those out. We've got some blossoms. Blossoms equal fruit that will eventually happen. And down here, we got one too. So check that out. We've got a few. So probably what I'm gonna do is take, wind up taking this mulch over here and sticking it around here to keep the moisture in for these guys. Oh, here's one. Here's an open one right there. Yay! Blossoms equal vegetables, and I'm super happy about that. But let's take a look at each of the variety of tomatoes today. Sorry little fast but so these grape hybrids today I'm not seeing anything yet but we do have lots of 
flowers. Um, and we need to get this guy up off the ground a little bit. Again, I tried to tie it and we've had a lot of winds back here. And I have these bamboo poles and they came from our bamboo over that away. I don't know if you see back there. And they just were a little too slippery to hold the twine that I had. So we'll see what we'll do about that. Here are the yellow cherry tomatoes. Again, no fruit yet that I see on the sky. Um, ooh, but the Juliet, the Roma grape hybrid. Juliet, check that out. Yay! I'm excited. And again, I gotta get this up off the ground somehow. I need to stake it up somehow. We'll see if I have time this weekend. Um, this is the Celebrity. I don't see anything yet, except for a bunch of blossoms. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but um, this was the Cherokee uh, carbon one. And again, just blossoms on this, and this needs to be staked up better too. It's growing more like a bush than upright. Let me see if I see anything else. No, nope, just And here are the Beef Master tomatoes. We're doing this, and we're doing that. And it's growing super healthy, it looks like to me. And they love this tomato cage, but we don't have a lot of storage. So I only have two of these tomato cages. I kind of feel like I needed, oh, five more. But hey, we do what we can another beefsteak over here. Now, I don't know what's going on with these, <laughs> this strawberry uh, disaster over here, <laughs> but I'm gonna just keep watering it and see what happens, trim off some of this excess. I don't know, maybe it'll survive. Is the little Napoli hybrid patio tomato, uh, patio Roma tomato. So check those out. Oh, I'm super excited about those. This one seems to be doing pretty okay. It does need to be watered. You can tell the leaves are curling up a little bit, but I'll get to that. And check out these. This was our original one. Last week we pulled some, and I said, hey, I wonder since I pulled some, if these will continue to grow now that they have more space. And check that out. They did. I don't know if they're gonna be a little spicier because they've been left longer, but check that out. They are growing a bit more. This one has a weird color to it. I don't know what that is, but... And these are our other ones growing as well. And they're doing really well. In fact, some may even need to be fixed soon. These ones tended to mature faster, I think because they just had more room. Check this out. Look at that. It's amazing. And thank goodness we love radishes. This right here just looks like dirt. That's where I planted a bunch of lettuce and it looks all dry because it is it needs to be watered and stay tuned we'll see what comes of that basil's growing pretty healthy out here and <laughs> i have not gotten the chance well, you can see how windy it is right now i've not gotten the chance to transplant any of this here but maybe i'll get the chance who knows this by the way is a, a blueberry bush that's nothing's ever going to happen for, but it also won't die. It's been here forever, um, but we need to, and the other one used to be under that stump, and we need two, so we'll just keep it as a plant for now. Oh, look at the wind. The upside down topsy-turvy tomato plant, and we've still got uh, the tomatoes growing right there. Um, I think those are the only two right now, but we have some that will be promising, looks like. Pepper plant's still doing okay, but you know, every time we've had a pepper plant, we've had something eat it. And I've inspected this, look under leaves, I haven't found anything yet. I don't know what's eating it, but maybe it'll survive. Not 
sure what's going on. Uh, again, I've inspected this, looked under leaves, tried to find something that's eating it. I don't know what it is. So if you have any suggestions, I think this might just be where we spray it with a little soapy water. Hello there, ladybug. Hopefully you are eating any pus that are on these open leaves. Thank you for doing your job. I hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, of our garden tour. As you can see, a lot of things are happening in the garden. I love coming out here. It's been really nice to see the progress of what's been happening in the garden every week, and I hope you enjoy it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep up with our garden and uh, see what's happening. Hope your garden is doing well too. Bye-bye.